Hey all, welcome to SLB, Basement Bourbon Bar. My name is Kurt. Today we got another best of five. Trenton always gives the, me these assignments. I try to keep up with them. I do the best I can, but it's so hard for me to pick the best of fives. But today we have my favorite rye whiskeys here at SLB, Basement Bourbon Bar. Now, there may be some more out there somewhere or whatever. All the, what I know is what I have down here and I pick the very best that I love the most, rye whiskeys here at SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. If you're new to the channel and you want some more cocktail recipes, spirit reviews, bourbon and whiskey, don't be afraid. Hit that subscribe button. Once you've done that, hit the notification bell and that way you won't miss a single episode of the show. Moving right along, let's get right into this show. Hey. I had, I had an awful time with this. I really did. I spent hours the other night just scratching my head, pulling my hair out. You know, that's why I got these spots right here. It's just driving me nuts. So I got a bunch of stuff to show you here tonight. Some special mentions, things of that nature. The first thing I want to show you, Wild Turkey 101 Rye, Old Forester Rye. Now, is that in my top five? No, it's not. I wanted to bring them out here to show you. I pretty much exclusively mix all my cocktails that require rye whiskey with one of these two bottles. You know, on a rare occasion, I will mix a cocktail with uh, with, a, with a nice higher end type of a rye whiskey, but 98% of the time, I will always mix my rye cocktails with Old Forester Rye or Wild Turkey 101 Rye. You cannot, absolutely cannot go wrong with either the one of those choices and you can also sip them neat or pour it over ice. Extremely versatile, works beautifully in cocktails. I definitely want to trot those out and show you those right now. We'll set those to the side, but two that I wanted to mention, budgets for mixing cocktails, so on and so forth. Now. Before I get into the five, real quickly, I have three special mentions. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I, I tried, trend, I did, I try. But I I've, got, I've got to show you some of these real quick. I know this one's a little bit controversial, but I really like, I really do like Angel's Envy uh, Rye finished in rum cask. I know a lot of people absolutely do not like that. I do. It's got a little bit of rye spice, but that, that real rum character, that real rum barrel, really shines through with this and I enjoy this neat and over ice and there's one particular cocktail I make with this maybe we'll show it to you one day that's exceptional that's one of my special mentions another special mention I have that almost topped the list that almost made the list whistle pig 15 year me personally I'm not a big whistle pig uh, I was gonna say I'm not a big whistle pig fan that's not actually correct I like whistle pig but I just don't really treat it as one of my top-notch rye whiskeys. But this particular release, Whistle Pig 15, I really, really like. It's got some rye spices in there, but what I like the most about it, it has a lot of nice toffee-type caramel flavors that go along with it. It almost cracked my list. It almost cracked the list, but not quite, but I wanted to show it to you. The one that came the very closest to hitting the top five, Blue Run, what was this trend? Yeah, Blue Run Golden Rye Whiskey. Hey, like I said before in other videos, the boy's on fire. He found this somewhere. I think he actually found it on the, on the internet at retail. He paid $110. He was kind enough to buy me one, and he bought one for himself. As you can see, I've had a little time to try it out here and there. It's a beautiful, beautiful, well-balanced rye whiskey. I so badly wanted to put it in my top five, but I just I just couldn't do it. it. It came that close, that close, but I just couldn't do it. If you ever see this Blue Run Golden Rye Whiskey anywhere for about a hundred bucks, do yourself a favor and pick it up. You won't be disappoint, disappointed. It is exceptional. All right, moving right along. We'll get into the meat and potatoes of the show. We're gonna get these other bottles out of the way, but I couldn't help myself, I had to do that. Now, what I have planned for you, Trenton told me I had to, I had to rank them from, from one to five. I told him at the beginning, when we're gonna record here, I says, man, I can't make up my mind because you gotta do it. So, he's the boss, what can I say? So I'm gonna move them in front of you from my fifth favorite all the way to the first, and that's how we're gonna, 
that's how we're going to introduce them to you here today. So, fifth on my list, an exceptional rye whiskey we have here at the bar, Pikesville. Pikesville Straight Rye is a phenomenal rye whiskey, especially for the price. It's 110 proof and it, you really should be able to buy this somewhere for around, <clears throat> pardon me, for around $40, give or take. Unfortunately, I have had some comments where people just absolutely can't find this. And truly, I, 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 I get sad about things like that because I want all of our, all of our family at SLB here to enjoy these particular bourbons and whiskeys and today these ryes. And I wish everybody could find it, but hopefully most of you can. Um, this particular, it's a very elegant rye. It, it, it has some creamy sweetness, a little bit of cereal, and a little bit of dark chocolate on the back end too. For $40, it's probably the most amazing rye whiskey I've ever had for that particular price. And today it comes in fifth on my list. Coming in number four. Coming in number four, I've got Willet for your rye. This particular rye whiskey is also 110 proof. If you get it at retail, and trust me, you should be able to find it at retail, you're gonna pay roughly around $65 for this bottle. In my opinion, that's, that's a, a really good deal for this particular bottle. Uh, this particular rye whiskey, in my opinion, is straightforward. It's in your face. It's got a little rye cereal to it, also a little chocolate. Um, it's just, it's just a right when you, I particularly like it over ice. This is my absolute favorite rye whiskey to mix my Manhattan cocktails. Uh, I'm sure Trent will put it up here somewhere if you want to watch the Manhattan cocktail, but I go on and on in that video about how great this rye whiskey mixes with my Manhattan cocktail. It just gives it a real, I mean, if you want to, if you want to please yourself, if you want to, uh, I want to write word with a trend. That would cut that, cut that trend. What I want to say, if you want to treat yourself to a beautiful Manhattan cocktail, use Willet for your rye. It's fantastic, it's bold, it's spicy, but yet has some sweetness to it too. Very good, comes number four on my list. Rolling out number three on my list. A Midwinter Night's Dram from High West. And what are we saying? Yeah, Trenton, this is, uh, I think I'm going to get on. This is actually a 2019 release. Act 7, Scene 1. Blend of straight rye whiskeys finished in French oak port barrels. For a rye whiskey, in my opinion, this is just elegance in a glass. It's a beautiful, beautiful whiskey. It's got a little brown sugar, a little bit of vanilla, some very light rye spice, and maybe a little tiny fruity tones to it because of the port wine. I pretty much exclusively drink this uh, neat. I never put it over ice. It's 98 proof, so it's it's a lot easier to drink neat. And it's a, it's just a beautiful, beautiful sipping experience. And I know every, every special release is from High West on this particular bottle. Probably is going to be a little bit different, but this cost me right about a hundred bucks. And I'll promise you if I if I have the need, if I see another one, I haven't seen another one since this one, Trent. Have you seen it? You haven't seen it either. I haven't either. So if I see another one for about a hundred bucks, I promise you I would purchase it. It's just that good. It's a beautiful, beautiful sipping experience. High West, Midwinters, I'm gonna get it wrong every time. Midwinter Night Stram. Number three. Number two. Number two on the list and moving right along. Michter's Barrel Strength Toasted Barrel. Man, we got lucky on this one. Trenton was on the prowl. He was doing his thing like he always does. He found our local liquor store, had five of these bottles. He called me, man, where are you at? They're retail, it was 80 bucks, right? Dude, man, I'm working, I'm all the way up. I'm, I'm like 20 miles away. So. On a whim, I called my wife. She was right down the street. She rolled in the liquor store. Boom, she bought the bottle. 80 bucks, retail. I couldn't be happier. This is a beautiful, beautiful. It's just really, really different. That toasted barrel like that. It's got some vanilla cream, a little bit of 
I, I may be out of my mind here, but the best way I like to, to describe this particular whiskey, and I've told other people this, I've told Trenton this, it's kind of like it's kind of like s'mores to me. You get a little bit of marshmallow, a little bit of that chocolate, a little graham cracker in there, and then very warm rye spice there at the end. And that and that's how I look at it. That's how I describe it. That's really how I feel about the bottle. It's also 110 proof. It drinks though. I, I only drink this neat too. It drinks so smooth at 110 proof. Beautiful, beautiful beautiful rye whiskey. If you have a chance to pick it up at retail, do not hesitate. Last but not least, I know we're getting a little repetitive here, but I, you know, what can I say? Jack Daniels, barrel, single barrel, barrel proof, special release bottle. Let's hope and pray that they have some more coming out. That just has it all. I mean, it just really does. You can drink it neat if, if you're if you're man enough. It's 130 proof. I do at times. I put it on ice at times. I drink it neat because the flavors are just ridiculously good, and it's so viscous and the and creamy, and the mouthfeel on this particular whiskey is just dynamite and second to none. A lot of that that maple flavor and some burnt sugar in there. It's just got a real sweet but sweetness to it but then a real rye punch also it's just a phenomenal drinking experience i can't say more about it i had to put it at number one jack daniels single barrel barrel proof so just in recap from five to one pikesville rye an amazing rye whiskey for 40 bucks will it very bold in your face 65 dollars Midwinter's Night Dram, if you could pick it up for 100 bucks, I would in a New York second. A beautiful, elegant, very well-balanced drinking experience there. Michter's uh, Barrel Proof Toasted Rye, fabulous. Fabulous flavors I promise you won't find in any other rye whiskey. If you're fortunate enough to get it, retails around 80 bucks. Scarf it up. First on the list, has been for some time, and it still is, Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. Single barrel, barrel proof rye. Hey, that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching. I had a great time putting this together. I mean, I, I sincerely labored over this for a number of hours, but hopefully you enjoyed it. I thank you so much again for watching. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly, and we'll see you next time right down here with me in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.